and, and thank you all for coming down. If you want more information about the organization, please go to www.vivaarizona.org. Or if you need information about an event you have, need to connect with voter registration uh, groups, we're happy to help you there as well. Um, we have left a little time. If you do have any questions for us, we're happy to answer. Steve Carson? Uh, hi, Paul. Yeah. Um, your endorsement and encouragement and participation for artists for action, does this represent a shift in your previous opinion as to White County, Arizona completely? The, the, previous, the, the previous position uh, and, and opinion has and continues to be that there's going to be and has to be economic consequences to such a stupid decision. And, and, and they're going to continue. Uh, it, today is an acknowledgement of, for me, is uh, not changing my opinion in terms of my opposition to the law. But yeah, quite frankly, it's an acknowledgement that in this uh, struggle against 1070, uh, that there has to be room and opportunity uh, for like-minded individuals to be able to participate in this in this fight. And uh, I wouldn't call it a retreat as much as I would call it an acknowledgement of reality. We have a good group of people that are on our side in terms of opposition, and we need to provide them the space and the venue and the support to be able to do their job. Is this um, a definition of what you, you described earlier as a selective boycott? Targeted. Targeted? Yeah, targeted. I, you know, what the first, con and, and we had nothing to do with that. The first convention that canceled in Arizona, 15,000 people uh, canceled the day that's, that the law was signed, uh, was Dr. Martin Luther King's fraternity. And they immediately said, we're moving. Uh, uh, religious communities of faith, we're moving. Artists, we won't participate. But I think now with some of the artist community, we have an opportunity to say to them, uh, we've created a, a space uh, where your opinion is validated and where your opinion is needed. And, I, and I, I think that's the right step. Will there continue to be economic consequences to this state? Uh, there's been a 40% drop in sales in, in, in this community based on uh, Mexican nationals not buying retail here. That's not our fault. That's the fault of somebody uh, signing a law. And I find it very ironic that we are put in a position of being defensive when we shouldn't be. The minute that law was signed, the economic consequences began. And uh, what we're trying to do here is to motivate in a different direction so that this law gets undone and that uh, the vibrant arts community isn't the first one to suffer as a consequence of a stupid law.